This is a uh, track torch that I built. I saw one of these expensive ones and there's no way I realized I couldn't afford to buy one of these things so I just thought I'd show you guys what I built here. And uh, the track is just three quarter inch angle iron with some flat bars running across. It just goes, you can make them any length you want to make. They don't cost too much to make. Just got to make sure they're really straight. So your, tr your tarts will follow it straight. The little tractor itself, track torch, whatever you want to call it. I bought this cutting torch at uh, a welding shop, and it when I was regular, just a second. It's regular, it's one of these regular torches. I guess they use it in a, some kind of machine torch. It's got a lock. I don't have the hoses on it right now, but it's got a lock down right here. You can lock the air on so it stays on, which is kind of handy. And uh Put the torch back in the little tractor thing right here right now. The wheels, they're just pulleys. And they run on the angle iron. There's four, there's four wheel, little pulleys on each side. And them little bearings right there you see. There I just bought eight of them little bearings. I really only need six of them though. And uh, the, there's, uh, there's your pulleys. And down there at the, at the bottom you can see there's two more of them little bolted on. The steel plate right there, there's four quarter inch steel plates put together. I didn't have any one inch steel, so I just took four pieces of steel and I drilled them out and used threaded rod on there to put it all together. And this end down here, I found one of these little antique hand crank, hand crank grinders. And uh, the gear is a real fine tooth gear. And it just so happened that a half inch coarse threaded bolt laid perfectly right in the threads. So I took in up here in the top, this piece right here, you can see the bearing I put in there. And I machined that out, put in the in, machine the end of the shaft out so it fit that bearing. There's a snap ring on there. And the other end of the thing, there's another bearing down here and this end right here. And I machined it down so my air drill can screw on there. And that runs like a little worm gear. As you turn the drill on, it just the drill spins, turns the other gear, which in turn on this other side over here, oops, it runs these little ch chains and sprockets. And I initially set this thing up so I could have double gear reduction. This sprocket right over here, this smaller one on, the, on right here on the back side right here, oops, that one was going to run the back sprocket back here and then it was going to go from there straight down on, on two different chains so I could get a double gear reduction out of it. Well after I got it all together I realized that that fine tooth sprocket on here on this side of this right here was going to be plenty slow enough to do what I wanted to do so I never did put the other chain on there so I just want to run it just like it is. This thing has really worked out great. What's nice about it is one guy can operate the thing. You can fully adjust with this center right here you can unscrew this bolt right there slide this in and out for your torch and you can raise your torch up and down you loosen that little clamp I made that out of just a piece of pipe welded on and you can uh, adjust your torch up and down you get it all set up and you measure from your rail out to your torch and you can line up both ends of that so you know where your cut's going to be and when you get ready to cut come back around this other side over here You just let my camera come back and focus. Where you at, baby? Oh. Sorry about that, actually hit the hit the telephoto lens. When you get ready to cut, it's just a simple matter of you get your metal heated up, the torch is on the edge, you come up here and you flip your air lever down, you lock it on, and of course you got two hands, you're not holding the camera, and you just grab your air drill right down. Here. Hold the trigger. And you can see it just walks right along. And what I do to control the speed of it, I just change the air pressure on my regulator so I can control how fast it goes. And once you get it set up, you know, for the thickness of metal you got, it's real easy for one guy to turn it on. It's real easy for one guy to turn it off, and it works great. But it's a real, it's pretty simple to build. There was nothing to it, you know. Just drill some holes in a 
four different pieces of quarter and steel and then you drill the first one and you can stack drill the rest of them it's not a big deal and them little bitty them little bearings don't cost too much they're just little pillow blocks cheap ones and the sprockets weren't too much i think there's a 40 pitch chain on there if i'm not mistaken maybe 35 uh but there's not much to it and i saw the other video on youtube and i was pretty impressed how that guy built that other little tar extracted that long threaded rod through there that was pretty slick too but I like this one here because it only takes one guy to operate it. It'd be, you know, the other one you had to have a drill down to one end and, you know, depending on where you're starting and stopping at and whatever, you have to run around and turn the torch on and off. But it still would work if a guy doesn't want to buy one of these torches. The other thing neat about this torch, if I get this out of here, let me set the camera down for just a minute. Is if you want to cut a circle with a cutting torch, I made this other little bracket right here that slide, the torch slides onto. And what it's got, it's got a little bar over here for your you just center punch your metal where you want to cut at, you know, where the center of your thing's going to be. And you measure from there with your torch tip where it's going to cut at. And you just use this thing like a compass and you just take the torch right on around and make your circle with it. That was the other thing that was kind of neat about this torch. I really liked that a lot too because I can cut circles with it and I can cut straights with it. And it all, you know, it's a little bit harder doing the, the circles by hand, but you do a pretty good job on it. It's not that bad. But this torch tractor, it works out pretty slick. I just want to share that with you guys on there and see what you thought about it. Thanks for your time. Bye.